Hello, everybody. Uh, Hello everybody, this is the next session in WENSIM System Dynamics. Today we are going to pe populate our first real model. I will show you how you can create a very easy model that is built up from uh, rapid population and we will see how they are growing over time. So first, just as a summary of the last videos that we did, I would like to show you uh, what variables we can use. First, we have the stock variables. Here, as convention, we always start the name with a big letter, like rabbit. Then we have the auxiliary variables there also as a convention we always start uh, with low letters like verse and also for the flows we start with um, uh, small letters like here we take the So for first, I'm just deleting all that again. And I want to show you how to start. We go to File, New, new Model. No, right now I don't want to do that. And then we have to make the model settings. We have to set the initial time like zero, final time we take now here 30 time step we take one units for time we can take year so we are modeling from zero to 30 years integration type to leave like it is and then we just have to click ok and we can start now to populate our model so what we will have in our center is the rapid population population in big letters and then this is the box variable then we have an inflow to this stock a rate so what is the definition for coming in into the stock is first and then we have the same the rabbits are also going to die so they are dead and then we have we are populating here with two auxiliary variables because we have to define the burst. This we are doing with burst rate, and the death will be defined as average lifetime. We see all is written with low letters and the rapid population stock with big letters. Maybe you think this is a little bit boring, but this is a very important point when you start to populate more complicated models so as a next step we have to make our interactions with the arrow here so birth rate will influence the birth the average lifetime will influence death and the rapid population has an influence on one on one hand on birth itself but it also has an influence on the death that means the more rapid pop the bigger the rapid population is the more death we have and also the bigger the rapid population the more births we have that means or maybe that's just obvious that when there are more mothers and fathers we just have more child more children what we do next is as always i pointed out we have to save the model somewhere with save as and we save it wherever we want to save it so as a next step, we have to uh, give the model the equations that are necessary to calculate our targets. So how do we do that? Here is the symbol y equals x squared. When we click on it, we see that all the variables are, that are in the model turn black. We can click now on the first one, birth rate, and we see that there's a window appearing where we have to give in the equations. 
So the birth rate is a constant over time. This is from the start to the beginning, it's always the same. So we just have to give a number here. And we give this number now 0.125. And what is important is that we are always indicating here the units. So what we have here is one per year. And when we put this in, uh, we see that the type here is a constant because this is not going to change over time. There are a lot more possibilities uh, how you can change and vary uh, the equations here, but we don't cover this in this video, so we just click OK. We move on to average lifetime. So the average lifetime of a rabbit is eight years. So we click here equals eight and the unit is years. <coughs> it is important that we don't write years, but year, otherwise the WENSIM will not detect that it's the same thing. Then we move on to births birth how is birth this uh, the equation for birth is the birth rate we see those variables here that's just from where the arrowheads are coming so birth rate and this is times the rapid population so the unit for it is rapid per year and then we just can click OK the same for death, the death is population, a rapid population divided by average lifetime and the units here is as well a rapid per year and we click OK. And then the rapid population itself, there it's already a default just maybe I can I cannot make it that smaller we see that it's birth and death are here as variables and the default is always that the inflow minus the outflow and that's what we're going to to keep what we have to give here because it's a stock it's the initial value so we start here with thousand rabbits at the beginning the units is just rabbit and we just keep it like that and click OK. So what we have to do next is to check if our model is OK. And we have to do that, we have to click on model. Then here it's written check model, we click on it. And as we see it's written model, model is OK. Whenever there is something that doesn't make really sense, it will give a message here and says that here or there is something not really logic. What you have to do as well is to check the units with units check. It's on the same uh, drop down menu units check. And as well here, no, not this one. It says units are all OK, so we are fine. When we have something that is wrong, maybe average lifetime we don't have here year but we put it to dimensionless okay we go back to unit check it will say that there were one unit errors discovered and it tells us where it is and then we just have to go there and change it average lifetime is one per year here we go okay we once again do the units check and it still says the same. That's why it's not one per year but it's year and then let's see what's happening now. Now it says again units are okay. When you have a model where it is important to have rabbit equal to rabbits because on one hand you are using this and the other the other one then you can put that here on the settings you can write that when sim is detecting a rabbit the unit rabbit as the same as the unit rabbits 
and then you don't get uh, uh, an error message when you check for the for the units it's the same here week is um, used as the same as weeks for example or day days hour hours as well now as a next step we want to see if we did everything wrong and we can model and simulate what we wanted to model we have to give here to the run a name that it will be our saving name like equivalent you will soon detect why i choose equivalent and then here is a little guy that is running that's a run a simulation we press on it and we see in the back that there is something running then we have to click on the most important variable here or the stock rabbit population that's what we are really interested in and then on here the graph sign okay and we see that nothing really happens it's always on a thousand here we see it in a graphical display we can also go to the tab display table display when we click on it we see that from the beginning to the end it's always a thousand so maybe we are a little bit disappointed that's nothing going on here what we can do next is either we are going to change the birth rate through the equation so we click on birth rate again we say now our birth rate is a little bit higher we go to all point two we click ok then we change the name we put it run one we again run the simulation we have to click again on the rabbit population because this is what you want to simulate we click on uh, the graph sign okay and now we see that our run one really has a nice increase of the total rabbit population compared to the uh, rabbit population in our first run that was equivalent that's the reason or the reason for that is that in our first run the equivalent it was the burst so the inflow was exactly the same as the death the outflow that's why it, there was no change in the rabbit population now we have a higher birth rate so more births but the same death and that's why we have a exponential growth of the rabbit population we can see the same in the table we see now how this is gonna grow a thousand and then we see that finally after 30 years we have 8755 rabbits in our stock now let me just delete part of it so run one and run two we're going to delete so when we click down the graph we only have our equivalent so another possibility to change the values in the model is we can click here on the set and then we get blue ones here we can now click on the birth rate and we can change it here to 0.2 we click enter we run it and then when we click on rabbit population we will get again the same graph as before so there's another possibility to change the values in the model as we covered already in a former uh, video here's the synthesis button when we click on it we will get the uh, the basic so the equivalent and we have now the birth rate on 0.16 we can now start to play with it what is when the birth rate is decreasing we see the blue line the rabbit population that is decreasing when we increase it we see very soon that our rabbit population is really really increasing we can make the same with the average lifetime when you increase the average lifetime then our rabbit population is increasing when we decrease the rabbit the average lifetime then our rabbit population is decreasing so and eight years we can put it back to the to the values that we had at the beginning so i click here on stop we go back to run yes um, what we have now loaded is the run and the equivalent that is okay 
What we can do as well is when we are interested to see what is the birth rate during rabbit population and death at the same time, we can mark all of this and click here on this causes strip uh, graph sign. And what we will get is on one hand the rabbit population, but we have also the birth rate and the death rate on one image. This can be very helpful uh, later when you're going to perform your own models. I think that's it for the moment. I hope you learned something and maybe we'll see us soon in another video. Thanks a lot. Bye.